Hello everybody, in this video we take a look at a game called, well it's a pretty long name, it's called Oni Road to be the Mightiest Oni. Now basically it starts so well with beautiful, beautiful music, I mean I was, I mean beautiful, absolutely beautiful, I was just stunned beautiful the music is. Uh, and basically this is a um, fantasy anime style uh, action game, uh, which is inspired by many different games. Most probably I think we can say that Zelda is a great inspiration for this game. So in this game we play a really cute little creature, very lovable by the way. Uh, they landed on an island, they need to find demons uh, and discover the island secret. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's super cute by the way. And uh, on your journey we're gonna meet uh, new NPCs, uh, you can fight enemies, fight bosses. Uh, quite a lot of stuff here. As you can see the visuals looks really nice. Kind of very similar right to uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And yeah, the beginning was very, very beautiful, no doubt about it. With the beginning, there's more to follow. So to put things simple for you, uh, in this game, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, you're going to fight monsters that spawn uh, in different locations in the world uh, and you need to defeat them and then you're going to unlock a boss fight and you need to defeat the boss fight to unlock another area. This is not an open world game, there are different areas, you need to complete certain area. This is relatively small and then you're going to move on to the next one. Uh, now, they're not just one boss, there are different several bosses uh, in the area and again, after you finish them, uh, a new area will unlock which you continue to explore. Uh, this little statue uh, will allow you to bring spirits to him in order to uh, get more hearts and also to save your game. Uh, now, uh, when it comes to settings, forget about settings here. This, I, I don't even understand why there's no graphic settings here. I was pretty stunned. Uh, I'm just telling you just ahead of time that for me it runs well because I'm running this game on a 3070 Ti but some players will complain about performance uh, this game probably running lower end machine compared to uh, what I'm running and they're experiencing issues and indeed considering the fact that I'm running 3070 Ti and sometimes I get 70, 80 although I get even more this means that you might get into some performance issue uh, playing this game. Uh, now again, when you start the game, you're going to find this statue, and not just in this area, in each new area, and once you uh, interact with it, it's going to ask you to find three different statues, three statues. Once you find them, uh, enemies will start spawning. Now this is kind of a JRPG kind of style interaction with NPC in, in combat, so it's not turn-based, no way, it's real time, but you need to interact with a kind of a stationary enemy in order to initiate a fight. It's kind of an inspired thing by uh, Pokemon games. Now keep in mind I muted the music throughout the gameplay again because YouTube, but keep in mind that the music uh, is okay. I mean sometimes uh, there there's a track that is not really related to anything, I don't even understand. Uh, but again, overall you get kind of a you know kind of a zen vibes and the overall gameplay itself is kind of more relaxing. And by the way, don't expect a difficult game. This is an easy game, kind of a more uh, uh, that's why I think it's more aimed towards the uh, younger crowd than the older crowd, but I still as an adult I find this game fun to play. Again, but there are issues which we're going to talk about soon. Now one of the cool things about the game that I think makes it unique uh, compared to other games that I play is the mechanics. They are really really fun. Basically you have your dodge, um, uh, you, know, you can just dodge for any. Uh, you are able to also hit with your melee. There's also uh, later on you're going to unlock a little um, companion that you can control and let him fight uh, kind of a uh, you know uh, fight enemies i'm going to show this in a moment uh and you're going to unlock your skills as you go again some really interesting stuff the myth combat really interesting in this game so in terms of combat i really like it personally for example you can see that i'm sending my body and to disable the enemy but in order to eliminate an enemy you need to hit uh i'm using the xbox controller with the b button and you can actually combo and just move around the battlefield by actually smashing those uh spirits that the enemy leave so you can just go from one after the other. Here I'm just doing one by one, but you can do it just one after the other. Uh, it's very, very satisfying and you get combos. Uh, as you uh, uh, progress, you're going to also a new kind of a ultimate ability which you can use, which is really fun. But your little companion has stamina, so you can really, you can exhaust it. Just keep this in mind. You can see it on the right, top right side of the screen.
Now here, for example, I unlock my special move. When actually holding axe, I can just kind of rotate. Uh, you can unlock better with new weapons and the merchant. So again, there are not a lot of options here, but the one that I have actually were pretty fun to use. And this is my ultimate ability, which is cool. And you can unlock, by the way, more as you continue playing. As you can see, I'm comboing and moving around and eating enemies. It allows you to kind of move very, very fast through the battlefield. It's pretty fun. And you can even avoid getting hit while actually comboing like that. Now, another thing related to combat is sometimes when there are many enemies, the camera actually moves really upwards, a kind of top-down view. So you can see yourself fighting as many main enemies. This is something very unique and interesting, just changing the angle rather than third person, really going to like third person top-down view. It's really interesting. I'm gonna show you. Take a look. As you progress, again, the story progresses, you can unlock stuff from new NPC. This is, for example, the merchant that came to visit the island, and you can buy stuff from him. Remember, the currency is mushrooms, and you can find some places that have, like, lots of them. So you can really get and buy stuff pretty quickly. Again, as long as you don't expect some in-depth uh, RPG elements here, you'll be fine. Aside from that, it also rewards uh, you can unlock as you progress and do different quests. Again, things are pretty basic, but it's fun and feel rewarding. Aside from that, the game is really cute humor. Take a look at this scene, by the way, it was pretty cute. Yeah, I told you, he is super cute. I mean, the design is very well, so he's very, very lovable. I love him so much. Super cute. Now, as you uh, traverse the island, you're going to find, uh, you have the option to um, execute an ability that allows you to track and find the spirits. Uh, which are invisible, but if you track them a bit to find them, and if you find them, you need to bring them to the statue and it will give you kind of a quarter of a heart. And if you have four of them, you're going to get a complete heart. Uh, basically increases your HP. There are some guardians that guard actually those spirits, and uh, if you kind of come across them, they try to get you to run after you, you need to avoid them. Now, when it comes to boss fight, they were fun. Don't expect Elden Ring uh, kind of a <laughs> boss fight, but a really fun kind of considering, uh, you know, uh, the simplicity of everything. It was fun. I have to admit, I really like the boss fights. All right, and I'm going to quickly go, by the way, now over the different things that I like and what I didn't like. First of all, the complaint, companion gameplay is fun. Overlay takes near enemies, by the way, is kind of really pretty the way they designed it. Uh, the art style I really like, kind of a Breath of the Wild style. Uh, the spirit uh, combo mechanic is good for when you're getting hit and just super fun to use. The boss fights are fun. Uh, the ability to unlock new abilities for, from boss fight, there's one that I discovered, uh, is really nice. Uh, uh, regarding the things that I didn't like, I told you about optimization, so I'm worried about that if you have lower hand machines, might be an issue. Uh, some of the animations are pretty slow, like picking up mushroom, I want to be it more, it's a bit faster because again, you want to do things fast. The game is pretty slow uh, in general. Uh, sometimes again, the music feels disconnected from the game theme and mood. Uh, the continuous combat mechanics, uh, waiting for, for example, spawn of enemies and then interacting with them. Uh, again, although you have real-time combat, it just feels a bit off. And also the delay we need to with tax and there's no option to really cancel it quickly and to move on to the next one, you need to kind of wait. Again, it's a bit annoying, especially if you need to do it many times. 
And I think yeah, this game has uh, many good things going for it. Uh, but again, overall, the design, lots of kind of uh, the gameplay loop, it's not really interesting enough, in my opinion, and gets boring and repetitive. Uh, although, uh, again, you're going to start well in the first area, but again, it's going to repeat in the other area. Uh, now, the overall impressions are positive, and I think, again, I'm everything I say is of course subjective but I think that players who kind of uh, you know the younger audience uh, will like it because it's kind of a more kind of a slower piece uh, and you know, not difficult and every, all the elements are kind of simple uh, you don't it's not overwhelming you have a small area to explore so you kind of a uh, you know step by step kind of move on so I think the young audience uh, that search for something pretty simple kind of action game will really enjoy playing it and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, more coming, so make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this one a little like. I'll see you very soon with more reviews and other cool content. See you in the next one. Cheers.